Hi, this is a very basic tutorial for Winbox for the people who have never seen Winbox. So to install Winbox, at first we need to download it. From the Google we can find a website and go to Winbox. Then download either the exe or grab the zipped version of the whole file structure. I was having some problem installing the exe so i downloaded the whole zip version and then i unzipped the zip file in this folder c program files winbox 14 and then i opened winbox but i need a patch uh, to get the patch i click here and there, there is the whole instruction how to get the patch in winbox so at first i save it in the desktop as a text file then in from winbox i open that text file and then from tools in winbox i select decode and select decode all so it's done you can use winbox forever now so uh, to give a basic introduction let's go through an example first this is the example volume 2 and you can see here copyright measurement error example here you can read all about the description of this example in this file uh, basically what i'm going to do i'm going to show you how to run the, the this particular example in winbox so from new file I select the model then I select the data sorry here and then I get the initial values for the model so this is one set of initial value I can uh, use another set of initial value if I want say I can choose minus 1 and 1 and I can have 10 10 10 as the initial value of x so there are two things here first thing is theta and the other thing is x we can make inference about these two um, variables so at first I select the model and from model specification I check the model and then I select J, Y, N, Z, Tau, Alpha, Beta as my data and I load it. So you can see data is loaded here. Then select number of chains, 2 and compile. So this is the first initial value. I load it. But see. Uh, it says chain initialized but other chain contain uninitialized values so because there are two chains right so I select second chain now uh, so I have loaded all that data set and the model is initialized as it is uh, saying in the status so I close it then go to inference and I select samples so as I mentioned it had theta uh, I set set and then I set x I can press set to get both of these results simultaneously I put a study cover there and then I go to model and update I can run the whole model for 1000 times I update the model and then I choose to see the trace plot so these are the trace plots these are the history these are the densities these are the statistics that I have selected here 25% median and 90 
I get the quantiles, I get the diagnostic plots, I get the autocorrelation. To get the numbers here, I double click it at first, then select control and right click to get the values of this plot. I also can get uh, the numbers so that I can use in Coda package of R. I can get the chain values from here. Also, uh, from here, if I want to have some burning periods, I can begin from 3000 and I can update for 10,000. So I update at any stage of the update, you can choose to stop, it will stop there. And if you want to resume, press update again. So it's done. So now check the trace plot, the history. See, I cho chose uh, to begin from 3000. So it's beginning from 3000. And it's uh, the number of iterations are these. So I will end it here. So this is all I had to show you about the Winbugs. Hope you have a great start with Winbugs. Thanks.